Um, hello class, today we will be analyzing Ophelia um, in this art piece right here by John Everett Malayas and also in Shakespeare's play Hamlet. Um, you will be doing a contextual analysis on the painting and you will also be doing a presentation explaining how you think this painting works well with the play and represents Ophelia. In the contextual analysis, you will describe different parts of the painting and um, you'll also talk about the history of the painting, what it's representing, what it shows, and um, who painted it, and part of who they are, and why they may have decided to depict Ophelia this way. So, let's get Hello. Now that we have, you know, checked out what we're doing with our painting, let's think about Ophelia as a character. With your notebook, just kind of jot down what do we remember about Ophelia? What was she like? What happened in the play? And what did Ophelia end up doing in life? Looking back, hopefully you've looked over the painting and the play both, and you've gotten information on both, and um, now it's time for you to compare the two. Uh, if you had been the artist, what would you have done differently than John Everett Malius and Malius? Um, <laughs> and what would you have kept the same? Okay, in order to support your argument for or against John Everett Malius's view of Ophelia, you need to have certain evidence drawing a line specifically from Hamlet, our book. So, basically, I will give you an example, and you can run with that how you want to. Queen Gertrude. One woe doth tread upon another's heel, so fast they follow your sisters drowned, Laertes. Laertes. Drowned, oh where? Queen Gertrude. There is a willow grows a slant of brook that shows his oar leaves in the glassy stream. There with fantastic garlands did she come, of crow flowers, nettles, daisies, and long purples, that liberal shepherds give a grosser name. But our cold maids do dead men's fingers call them. There on the pendant bows her cornet weeds, clambering to hang an envious silver brook. When down her witty trophies and herself fell in the weeping brook, her clothes spread wide and mermaid-like, a while they bore her up. Which time she chanted snatches of old tunes, as one incapable of her own distress, or like a creature native and endued unto that element, but long could, could not be, till that her garments, heavy with their drink, pulled that poor wretch from her melodious lay to muddy death. So basically, what Gertrude's saying in that evidence is that she kind of appears at home in the water. And, you know, she also says in line 45, and mermaid-like. So kind of think about things as you're finding your own evidence and in your lines, and you can also use that as one example. Thanks. All right, now that you've gone over parts of the play and looked at the painting and hopefully you've started writing your contextual analysis of the, of the painting and its history and part of its how it's set up, I want you to write down in your analysis whether or not you think he did a good job portraying Ophelia from the play.